Hi guys, my name is Steph and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, this channel has been about my fitness journey and I've been getting so many requests for a what I eat in a day video. This has been my number one requested video to do. And um, in this video, I'm going to show you, sorry, my cell phones. A lot of you have been asking me um, what I eat in a day, what my meals look like, um, what I am eating to lose weight. So let me just give you a little background story of me and my eating habits. So um, since I was a kid, I was always the chubby girl. I loved food and I didn't have very healthy eating habits. So I love chips, I love sweets, I love carbs, I still love all those things. But what has worked for me is really just portion controlling them. So I've tried a ton of diets before. I, I haven't tried the keto one, that's one I haven't tried, but it's just because I'm not really um, into fried food as much. I love carbs, so I never really saw myself um, doing the keto diet, but um, I have tried a vegan diet when I was pregnant and I still love that diet also But it's just you know not for me right now because I eat chicken and I like cheese and stuff. So There's a whole bunch of reasons if you guys relate to that where you guys feel like you f you are restricted on certain diets So you end up giving up That is me. That is me. If I feel that there is a food that I am NOT allowed to eat it just torments me, you know, it it makes me want it even more. That's how I've always been. Sorry, cross my leg. So diets never worked for me. Diets never worked for me when I had to restrict foods. If I couldn't eat a certain food, it would just drive me crazy. So I started this journey with a healthy mindset. It actually started when I broke my leg. I wanted to lose weight for my health and from within. It wasn't for vanity purposes. It wasn't to be aesthetically looking good or anything. That wasn't my main goal. I wanted to honor the one above with my body, through my, bo my body. And I wanted to respect my body a little bit more since I had been neglecting my body for so long. I've been overweight for since I had my first child, which is almost seven years ago, so I've always been overweight, but I've been obese since I had my first child. Um, I've always had a problem with weight. I've always either lost weight because it wasn't a healthy way of doing it, I was starving myself and not eating at all, or it was because I was on a yo-yo diet where I would gain weight, I would lose some weight and then gain a whole bunch more back, I would lose 20 pounds and gain back 30. That's that's the reality of it. If this sounds like you, you are not alone. This is also what I've been through through my life and through my fitness journey. But this recent fitness journey that I started, actually, um, I told myself, you know what, I'm just gonna change small things. Slow is the way to go since nothing has ever worked for me it's always been oh let's start on monday and then i dive into a diet and have so many things that i couldn't eat and i would only eat this much and it never stuck i'd be on it for two weeks get some results and then i would be back to eating how i was before so the first thing that i did to start this new lifestyle was um, i used to not actually um, count or uh, measure how much rice that I would eat. So I love white rice. I love all types of rice But usually white rice is what us Filipinos have available always cooked at home So I said, okay, since I just take a bunch of rice and take whatever other food and then eat that I'm gonna start measuring my rice. So I started by just measuring one cup every meal and that's already an abundant amount of rice one cup is filling it doesn't make you feel deprived at all but at least i started measuring so i started the first week one cup of rice with every meal and once i got used to that i said okay i can take a little bit away and i said let's do three fourths cup let's do three fourths a cup of rice with every meal so once i got used to that i went down to half a cup it wasn't right away where I went from not measuring to half a cup because I would feel hungry and deprived that way. So I wanted to do it slowly 
And that is the trick here. To keep something sustainable, to keep your diet sustainable, or whatever eating habits you want to change, you have to do it slowly. You have to do it slowly and you have to not make yourself feel deprived. So whenever you feel anxious, whenever you feel hungry or deprived, you're going too fast. That's just my two cents in this. This is, that's my way of how this is working for me. So your body will adjust. That's how amazing our bodies are, is we can adjust to things, we can adapt to things. And um, if you're not used to something, don't try and change it right away. So that's what I've been trying to say this whole video. <laughs> And then, of course, once I adjusted my rice, I told myself that I wanted to start eating healthier. So I stopped drinking, you know, like really sweet drinks, any juices with artificial flavorings, any sodas. I still drink, you know, Coke Zero once in a while, just as a treat, but it's not part of my daily life anymore. And so um, I wanted to add more fruits and vegetables. That's what the bulk of my meals I wanted to be was fruits and vegetables because they are so good for us. If we have macronutrients, we really need our micronutrients as well. It's important that we have vegetables and fruit mostly throughout the day. That's what's gonna keep our hair, our skin, our body, our cells all healthy. There are so many antioxidants that we need to get through our foods and it's really important that we have those every day. As for my um, protein sources. I like to keep it simple. I like chicken. I like fish, but it's mostly chicken because it's easy to flavor. It's easy to cook. There's so many different varieties of ways you can prepare it. And, you know, it's just super easy because you want to keep your meals simple. The simpler, the better, because if they're more simple, there's, there's more likely that you're going to prepare them. And once they're prepared, you're going to eat them. So yeah. In this video, I am showing you guys um, a bunch of meals that I have been eating throughout this journey. I like to keep my flavors wide. I like to keep my food delicious. And so this is just my preference of what is yummy and delicious for me. And it also works because it keeps me healthy. And um, yeah, so I, I've shown you some of the some of the meals that I prepare here. These are my staple meals. I always have them at home. Um, I do leave some space for yummy treats along the way. So if you guys have a birthday at home or if you guys have some treats that someone made at your home or someone bought some cake, you can still have that, you know. Just know when to stop when you've had enough. And since, you know, always just eat mindfully. Keep your goals in your mind while eating and you know um your emotions if you're an emotional eater like i am you know if you're happy if you're sad you keep eating and it's just you know the way you are it's just the way you are don't change that part about you but be smarter at the choices that you make i am not tracking strictly my macros right now in the future when i do plateau or if i I'm not seeing as many results as I want to, I will adjust and start being a little more strict with my macros. So, um, I believe that food is an experience. It should be enjoyed. Um, it's not 100% just for fuel. Some people may say that and some people may be able to eat 100% super healthy, on point, all the time. Great for them. I could not do that yet. <laughs> Food is really meant to be shared with your loved ones and with your friends and it's meant to be enjoyed. It's, it's a social thing and so I don't think you should take away the fun or the excitement out of your food. I think you should 100% enjoy it even though you are trying to reach a certain fitness goal. And it is doable in everyday life. Okay guys, this is breakfast. So all this is is overnight oats. Instead of milk or almond milk or soy milk, I use whey protein. So it's just rolled oats. It's about half a cup of dry rolled oats with um, two scoops of whey protein in some water. And I put uh, like a teaspoon of chia seeds, some cinnamon, and then I just top it off with fruit. When I'm gonna eat it the next day, and you just pop it in the refrigerator, all mixed up together, and it comes out like this. 
Okay guys, I'm going to show you the little smoothie that I like to make. Um, you can have this for snack, you can have this for breakfast if you like. I'm going to have it for snack today. So I get these frozen mixed berries from FitBerriesPH on Instagram. This is a kilo, it's only 500 pesos, super worth it. They're a lot cheaper than other um, sellers that I've seen. I just add in a scoop of collagen, super collagen protein from Obvi. I get this at, you can get this at Supplement Hub. Um, yeah, it has 10 grams of protein. It's sweet to the taste, so I don't add any more sugar into my shake. I just add some chia seeds and some water. And I just put everything in the blender, mix it all up, and you have yourself a delicious, high in antioxidant, yummy, yummy, yummy shake. This is what it looks like when it's in the blender. And I am giving some to my husband too. Yum. Okay, this meal is just lettuce with some bangus or milk fish on top and I just drizzled it with some dressing. The dressing that I like to use is the Japanese dressing. I just put a little bit on top. Don't go overboard because it does add up with calories and bangus is also dense in calories so just know how much you need to eat okay guys so this is my dinner and it is just a rice bowl this is just the taco seasoning um, chicken breast and then for the salsa I just have a ripe mango some tomatoes some um, red onion uh, salt pepper and then I just put some lemon juice in it and then I just have some lettuce here also and then underneath is oopsies, the rice it's on just like a thin bed of rice and i just put some pepper on top so this is for dinner if you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and like it and um, leave me a comment down below also i love reading all your comments i answer all of them as much as i can and they just give me so much joy and go ahead and subscribe to my channel as well click the bell button so that you get notified whenever i have a new upload this is really 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 helpful for me and go ahead and share it also to your friends if you guys think that it will help them as well